Hey everyone, I'm Diana. I'm coming to you from Big Green in my kitchen at home and um, I'm going to do a little demonstration today from a lesson from our Ready, Set, Grow curriculum series. Since most of us aren't able to go to our schools or places of work, we need to do a little adapting. And so this is a lesson where we would have been normally cooking in our, our, our uh, classroom, but today we're going to be cooking from home based on what we really have. We don't want to make extra trips to the grocery store. So what we want to make today is a salsa. And um, in addition to using what we have in the house, we actually also want to be able to make a salsa using all parts of a plant. All flowering plants, which is most of the plants that we consume as edible, um, actually are um, from five different parts of the plant. So all plants have seeds, they have roots, they have stems, they have leaves, and then they have a flower, which ultimately becomes a fruit. And so our challenge today is to be able to make a recipe that uses all five parts of the plant. So um, I didn't really have a lot of seed choices for the recipe, but I did have a package of black eyed peas in my pantry. And these are super hard right now, so I'm gonna have to cook, boil them in water to make them edible. But these are gonna be a great addition to my salsa, and this would represent my seed. Um, when I make a salsa at home, I often like to use radishes as my root, but I don't have any radishes today. So instead, what I do have is a bag of carrots, and I'm gonna be able to utilize um, a carrot to represent my roots. I'm just gonna cut it up really small. Uh, we call that dicing. Um, I can utilize the crunch. It's gonna be super tasty. I also need a stem, and it might be surprising for some of you to know that um, actually an onion is a stem. It's a part of the plant that functions as a stem, even though it grows underground. Garlic is actually the same. Um, they function as stems. The root of the onion plant is, are actually these little hairs that grow at the bottom. So I'm gonna utilize this beautiful um, onion in my recipe. And then I need a wonderful leaf. And I just happen to have some lucky fresh cilantro today. Um, cilantro is one of my favorite herbs on the planet. It's super good in salsas. But if you didn't have um, cilantro, you could also use whatever greens you might have in the house, including lettuce or kale or spinach. I have some spinach that we need to eat up um, pretty soon before it goes bad. So if I didn't have that, that's probably what I would chop up and put in my salsa. And then the last thing, which actually makes up the bulk of the ingredient of any salsa, are fruits of the plant. So beautiful fruits are, sometimes we call them vegetables, but they're actually fruits for a plant. Tomatoes, um, this pepper, we already started eating that one. Here's a red one. Um, I've also got an avocado that's, um, if we don't eat this pretty soon, it's going to go bad. So this is going to go in our salsa today and um, a really tasty lime, which is also a fruit that's going to give some great flavor to the salsa. We also started eating that one. Um, and then actually, if you made a salsa like this, it's going to be great, just fresh. You could add a little bit of salt and pepper if you have that in your pantry. Um, but there's also some wonderful things that you can add to really any salsa to give it a little bit of jazz. Um, some people like to make a vinaigrette. So that would be like vinegar and olive oil. Um, those are great pairs. Some people like a little sweet. So if you have some honey around, you can just like a little dash of that would taste really good. Um, we uh, particularly like hot sauce. This is Cholula. This adds a little spice to any salsa. And then, you know, like whatever you have around. So this is cumin, chili powder, um, some chipotle pepper, which is super good, um, onion and garlic. I don't have any fresh garlic um, in the house, but we do have this um, minced garlic, so I'm gonna add this to the salsa. Really, anything that you have around can make a really tasty and nutritious meal. Um, sometimes we just eat salsa for dinner. So, we hope you enjoyed this. Um, have, a great, uh, have a great day from Big Green.